If like me, you've been wondering about the Rejuvenating Lavending Trio set by Garnier, honey, I'm here to deliver the welcome. tea. Welcome. Hey girl, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Camelia. I do lifestyle vlogs, self-care and review videos, skincare and clothing hauls. Today's video, we're gonna be reviewing Garnier Organics Lavin uh, Rejuvenating Lavending Trio Set. I've been using these products for just over a week now and I wanted to come back and give you my feedback on all the tea. At the back of the box, they actually show you like a step-by-step -step of how to use these products. They tell you to use um, the face oil first and then the lavending cream and then the eye cream, okay? I personally didn't enjoy using them all together and I'm gonna tell you why. Let's get into this video. To the rejuvenating lavender trio is the facial oil the facial oil is supposed to smooth out your skin and give you a lovely glow and it also has the scent of lavender this is an organic and vegan product I actually love Garnier products I just feel like they just get the, the formula on I don't know what they're using or what they're doing but they're getting it on point okay you may have heard me mention before I love using the Garnier active pure active charcoal this is like a three-in-one face wash mask and scrub this stuff honey will get your skin all the way together for those days where your skin is just going through it and you just need to get it together this stuff is holy grail okay i love a good oil guys okay and i love a scent in my oil i know that not everybody's down for the scents but i love a good scent i don't like barely their scents i like to if it is an essential oil i actually like to smell it i like that i'm not particularly a lavender girl lavender would probably be definitely be in my top three but it wouldn't be my top number it wouldn't be my number one you know so when i applied this oil i applied it the way i would apply all of my oils which is a fresh cleansed wet face and then i applied this oil i found the oil to be not too thick not too thin um and the scent you can definitely smell it from the bottle once you rub it in it isn't as strong as you can smell it from the bottle which is okay the consistency was great it wasn't too thick that it was you know too too much of hard work to sort of like rub into the skin and it wasn't so thin that it was just messy and going everywhere it did eventually absorb but not before i put the cream on and then obviously that took longer because now we've applied a cream i did notice that it does leave your skin feeling smooth like it says it does and the glow honey was just yes out of this world so i actually really really love this product so yeah guys i actually love the oil i feel like you can't go wrong with oil this is a perfect night oil or even an oil to just sort of like remove your makeup perfect love it next up was the anti-aging day cream or day moisturizer this is said to reduce wrinkles and replump the skin now i honestly feel like when i used it the way that they told me to use it one after the other on top of the other i didn't really get to really experience this moisturizer and guys let me tell you something right i am not the, the easiest to please when it comes to a moisturizer i need my moisturizers first and first and foremost to protect my skin secondly they have to have like a, a thickness to them but also not be oily because i'm going to be using it in the day um and i like to feel like my skin I don't like my skin to just absorb it and just like go back to being dry again so I'm a bit finicky once I find a day cream that I like I pretty much stick to that one as it was Garnier honey I gave it a try when I used this with the oil I did notice it was a little bit too much for me both the oil using the oil and then putting the cream on top was just far too much I think it was too much for my skin to absorb in one go I my skin felt really oily for a very long time however i did use the day cream on its own and guys i love it i love it i love it this smells slightly stronger than the oil okay but not so strong that it's overpowering it's got this kind of fresh soothing kind of scent to it 
um, that I just couldn't get over. I did notice that my skin felt super hydrated and initially it felt very oily, which I was a little bit concerned about because I don't use oils in the day on my skin, but it did absorb and I did apply makeup straight after applying this cream. Um, which actually I think was a plus the fact that it's actually quite moisturizing um, This makes a really nice base underneath the makeup My skin didn't feel oily anymore when I applied the makeup and my makeup went on really smoothly It's the makeup that I'm wearing today as well because I applied this cream today I really enjoyed this cream guys. I love the consistency. It's thick it's creamy, it absorbs really well, and it left my skin very nice and supple. Once it did absorb, my skin didn't look overly oily, and it's a perfect, perfect base for underneath your makeup. So guys, if you haven't tried this, you need to try this, because this is gorgeous. Next, I went in with the anti-aging eye care cream. Now guys, I'm not gonna lie to you, right? I'm not buying this whole eye cream thing. I never did, um, and I, to be honest with you, I never will. Garnier or not, I don't buy into the whole eye cream thing. As somebody who's always moisturized their face and their body, I don't see the point of putting more cream underneath my eyes when I moisturize my face, and I typically use quite thick, heavy creams anyway or moisturizers anyway so it would be a lot for you to convince me that this actually works and i honestly feel like there's no way of really telling whether or not an eye cream works nevertheless it wasn't too bad guys i can only talk about how it went on the consistency is nice it's that of more like a lotion than it is like a cream it does absorb really really quickly the scent is, there is hardly any scent in the eye cream compared to the cream, uh, the day cream and the oil. Um, and that was pretty much it guys. Um, in terms of soothing, um, I, I, the cream to me was soothing, the oil to me was soothing. I'm not sure what I was looking for when we, I don't know what I'd be looking for in terms of the eye cream being soothing. It will be interesting to see um, if I could maybe make if I could really know, maybe if I'd done like a treatment, like maybe derma rolling and then use this eye cream, that would be a really good way to tell. Comment down below if you want me to do some under eye derma rollering and then trying the cream to see how it feels then. But just like on a normal day, applying the cream, I'm not so sure guys, I'd be lying if I told you I saw any different or felt any difference, okay? So to round up guys, if you were thinking about trying Garnier Organics Lavendin Trio set, you need to go and try it, honey, okay? Definitely the oil, definitely the day cream. Try it, get back to me in the comments. Let me know how you feel about it. I personally love it, especially the day cream. I will link the prices and, um, you know, what all of these products are supposed to be doing individually on the screen, and I would have done as we were speaking. If you haven't already, guys, comment down below what product is your favorite if you've already tried it and if you have if you haven't already tried it what products would you like for me to review in the future other than that guys i'm out of here okay like the video subscribe for the ride and i'll see you in another one